This is telling you New York, do it. You're not gonna starve. You might be roughing it a bit, but juggling is the best allegory for life. You know how Buddha said a jug fills one drop at a time? Okay. A juggle fills one drop at a time. Because that's how you get good, you drop it a fucking million times. A juggle fills one drop at a time. Did he literally say a juggle? No, he said a jug, like a like when you're filling a water jug which is true if you've ever, like I grew up with spring water and we had to carry water and you realize that when, like right now, super drought and it's one drop at a time, you just have to sit there, jug fills one drop at a time and it, juggling's the same way, it's so fucking slow to get good. But, you know, it's awesome. It's fun, everything that's worth doing in life is hard and takes time, you know? Mm. <laughs> just talk about that. There's a Kenneth Branagh audiobook of Richard III, which you can just get online for free. And listen to that. Like, sometimes while I'm reading it, sometimes I just listen to it. And then I read the book. And then Hofstra University <laughs> has a um, production on YouTube that you can watch. It's all students. It's kind of funny. But there's some really, they do some really good acting. So I'm getting like three versions of it. And then I watched um, the geneticist who was part of uh, digging up Richard III's body. She has this fantastic lecture that's on YouTube. And she's so funny. And so you get like this little bit of history too with it, but it's in a, like a humorous sense. So, so I'm like covering my bases to get a grasp on it. Cause well, you figure it's just drama, right? Yeah. Well, speaking of the body, everyone happy early Halloween. <laughs> yeah, and the ghosts. That's the best part of this play, the ghosts, which we haven't even gotten to yet. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get there. I've, I've kind of not read, I have not done my homework, honestly. She just told me, she goes, don't read it too far. <laughs> like, I already watched the play, and um, yeah, the the end with all these crazy ghosts is amazing. And I can't even imagine, if you were like in a live theater production, what it would mm. be like. The one that I watched had like all these crazy banging drums and loud sounds. So... Heather and I have just attended the Richard III Book Club um, evening at the Athens Public Library, and now I've informed her of the Ethel the Ethel Ridge performances going on at the Siegfried Archway, and we are now going there together because Mr. Independent Candidate is at home watching the kids <laughs> and also working on his campaign, so we are now going to have a little fun before she drops me off back at my car. A night in Athens. Yeah, very Athens, isn't it? Haven't lived in Athens that long, and most of it I've been spent taking care of the kids. But there's so much to do here, and so many cool things. Mm. It's like you gotta you gotta dip your toes in every once in a while. Well, do, um, this this is gonna be fun to remember. Do you remember? Oh, uh, like that. Do you remember the where, where we met? You yes, were, house party. Chris was playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I recorded it. The last, Did you? <laughs> I recorded it as the last house show, and it has that moment where um, I think Chris was taking off his pants because <laughs> <laughs> it was so hot, and he had he had to, he was like, oh, I just gotta get I gotta get my pants off so I could play because it's so hot. Uh, you were pre were you pregnant? I was. Yeah, with. Sabine. Yep. Yeah, because yep. it was well, it was about this time of year, wasn't it? Yeah, and we we uh we we started talking because you I mentioned working at Alden, uh -huh. and you mentioned working at Alden. I didn't even want to tell Lauren. I was like, the reason that I know her, that they'll know her actually, is because of her um, Ohio Link books. 
<laughs> so bad when I'd be like, I used to work in a piece and I saw the books that you got. <laughs> the last time I did that to someone, they were not thrilled by my revelation. <laughs> oh yeah, because like those are private. I don't know. I th and I <laughs> don't tell me that. Is this the best way to go? What do you think? Before the atomic bombs? Yeah, before climate change <laughs> and everything happened and... I just assume there's going to be an atomic war. <laughs> That was so lovely. I was like, was why don't we do more? Well, we like, hang out with people yeah. who have kids. We were talking about. It. I was like, why don't we organize things like this? Like, it's so always wanting to do things yeah. like that. And those were all of our friends. Yeah. And, there's, and the first, the first pair is like, can't, is what happens is sort of like after. They didn't recognize the soul. The whole Stewart's Opera House is full, and I don't know anyone. Like, what are the chances of that? And, uh, and everybody's like way older than me too. It's because it was Sun Vault. So. That's where you can really see the William Blake influence. 